again, in every cloud, there's a silver lining. If their system wasn't malfunctioning and causing the more serious damage in some boys and girls, mainly boys, we wouldn't have known about this. So do you see my point? Oh, absolutely. And, and the other thing you got to think of is when everybody's saying, oh, the, the mercury had nothing to do with it. Uh, you got to understand, I've seen the studies. Mercury is enhanced. The toxicity of mercury is enhanced by testosterone, is decreased. The toxicity is decreased by estrogen. Yes. And then we have four out of five male children being autistic. Come on. Uh, it, does, it doesn't take a rocket scientist here, much less an immunologist. Well, you're right. Uh, wow. Uh, well, 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 the tide is turning. I mean, I know you don't want to get into the private stuff with your doctor, but you were telling me off air that he's now awake. And, and, and of course, uh, now we're learning that the Amish aren't getting autism, native tribes that have never been around civilization in Brazil, zero. Uh, I mean, this is clearly a man-made situation, just like the honeybees dying is man-made. Alex, uh, I've, I've interviewed Dr. Eisenstein, a very dear friend of mine, many times. He's uh, the Chicago area. He's, he's, he was a, uh, his mentor was uh, Dr. Mendelssohn. He's had over 70,000, I believe it is, patients since 1973 come through his clinic. 99.9% .9 of them are unvaccinated. Zero cases of autism. 5% of the asthma rate of their of their peers in Chicago. We're not talking about the Amish out in the country here. We're talking about in Chicago, his patients, zero autism. We're talking about 5% of the asthma of the other kids that are vaccinated. It really, honestly, uh, it's a no brainer and it's they're just protecting their own. It's, it's really scary. Well, 10 years ago, Dr. Russell Blaylock, brain surgeon, neurologist, developed a lot of the more uh, you know, famous brain surgeries that are out there today, world renowned. He, he, he coined the term excitotoxin that's now in the mainline literature. Uh, he explained that vaccines massively reduce your normal immune system. And that once your immune system gets worn down, it doesn't start responding to cancer and things. Right. And, and you know, he explained that that's one of the big reasons you see, you know, all of these different neurological disorders and other things exploding. And then major studies three years ago, the Canadian government admitted, you take the H1N1, it doubles your chances of getting the regular flu. It destroys your immune system. I mean, right there. Oh yeah, I mean, there's there's no doubt whatsoever about that. When you look at the immune system, okay, our kids aren't getting chicken pox. The problem is our kids are gonna get chicken pox when they're 18, 19, and 20 years old and they're no longer on their mommy and daddy's insurance policy. And when you're 18 or 19, you think you're gonna live forever. You're not gonna go to the doctor. They're gonna get it then. What's that gonna do? It's gonna cause sterility. It's going to cause death. It's far more dangerous disease with older, you know, that's why you're supposed to be getting it when you're young. It trains your immune system. I liken it to if you're uh, going into the Olympics as a weightlifter, you could do one of two things. You could take steroids or you can train your body and learn the techniques. Now, the one that takes steroids might be super strong, but he's equivalent to the one that's vaccinated. His immune system, his ability to do what he wants to do is not going to be optimum and he's going to suffer the, pro he's gonna pay the price for it. The one that trains, the one that gets those childhood diseases, their, their immune systems are trained as they get older, they're going to be able to effectively fight the harder core diseases. I think that's the way God intended it. Well, the system is trying to turn us into the bubble boy. Remember that famous case in the 70s where we have no natural immune system. We've got to buy everything from big pharma and it just creates a, a prison. In closing, I, I want to play a clip uh, from CNN where, where they have a guest on and, they, and the governor did sign this bill trying to say it's fine for 11, 12, you know, 13 year old kids to not have to get parental consent to have a vaccine. And they just sell like, well, it's no big deal. Kids do drugs, kids, you know, have sex, they do whatever. I mean, it's so bizarre that even the, even the establishment media people on the show weren't ready to discredit themselves by agreeing with what they were hearing. I want to play that clip and get your take on it, Kurt. Here it is. Parents are legally accountable for any adverse events, adverse reactions that occur from the vaccine. Uh, federal, federal bureaucrats, government bureaucrats should not be making decisions for parents. Lisa, we do know that there are vaccine injuries that happen from vaccines. Should parents know when their 12-year-olds are getting a medical treatment that could be risky? Well, already in California and other states across the country, 
children are already receiving uh, medical benefits that their parents aren't aware of, birth control, abortions, events where there could be a severe adverse reaction, even leading to death, like in cases of abortion. So parents shouldn't their parents it. know about that? Lisa? Yes? Shouldn't parents, you're, you're making the case that there are risky things that 12-year-olds and 13-year-olds are experiencing. Shouldn't their parents know about those? Well, I think parental consent starts in the home. Um, every day our teenagers are, are doing things to risk their health. They're having sex. They're, they're take, experimenting oh, that's with enough. drugs. They're acting cavalier. That's enough. Shut her off. That is an empty, vapid, soulless jibberwocky that simply repeats her talking points. And, and this is where the bizarreness, the Orwellian, macabre, Kafka-esque, absurdist nature reaches where even the, the establishment you know, prostitutes are like, parents shouldn't know. And she's like, hey, we're killing, you know, people are having abortions without parents knowing, 12-year-olds. Hey, they're doing drugs. They're having sex. And, and, and they're sitting there like, no, let's not let parents know what the state's doing with their 12-year-olds. I mean, folks, this is the thing about not having any standards or morals. Once you give in to the system telling them what to do, the sky's the limit. The sky is the limit. We just have our minders that tell us what to do. In closing, what, do you think they're overplaying their hand now in their desperate attempt to try to force this on us? When we were just kind of going along with it trustingly, yeah, they could just con us. But now that we're waking up, they're really jumping up and down. It's not our health or safety. That's not the reason they want us to take these. Alex, all I could say is, yeah, they're way overplaying their hand because there's a lot of parents like me. I know of tens of thousands of them in this community, and they're way overplaying their hands. And I can also say that this Lisa chick that was just on, I certainly hope she keeps on being the spokesperson because she's making my job seriously easy. Yeah, acting like she didn't hear what they said to her. I mean, just the... And the arrogance, it's that it's just it's spiritual, that smiling, that enjoying how ridiculous they are. Uh, just like, hey, we're the establishment. I'm with the winning team. It doesn't matter what you little people think. I'm gonna roll over you. And even the the reporters like this is ridiculous. I mean, you know, they're trying to overturn our survival instinct. And I'm sorry, there's not enough mercury or fluoride or GMO or bisphenol A to get that job done. The the human instinct that parents protect their children, it's hard to override. Yeah, no doubt. And even if you are a parent that happens to be pro-vaccine, um, that should still scare the heck out of you, that clip, because it is about uh, the state being able to say, oh, yeah, go get that abortion. Oh, yeah, do whatever you want to do. They're taking apart the family. And without the family, this country's done. This world is done. Family is where it's at, individuals and family. And the state's waging war against it because it makes us independent. It doesn't make us part of their hive Borg uh, collectivist uh, cancer patient system that they love so much. Uh, in, in final closing, and a caveat, because I'm gonna, I was going to bring this up and, and, and then the show is about to end. We've got to cover this. Briefly, what did you do to reverse a lot of what happened to your son? Uh, diet enzymes healing the gut that's the main thing these these people out there that say it's a psychological disorder do not listen to them you're you're just damning your child to a life of autism heal a two-year-old i gotta interrupt a two-year-old doesn't go in fine get shots have convulsions get a fever and then have all these problems after that it's obvious i mean a neurological issue you're going to see from the beginning it's like if you got bit by a rattlesnake and you're getting sick and convulsing and they go, it's not the rattlesnake, you know, because it's a GMO company. This is happening just because you're bad. That's right. I'm sorry. Please continue. No, that, that's it. Heal the gut. Uh, have the doctors do the test. A lot of times when the guts hurt, the, the yeast and the candida will grow, uh, will cause all these problems. And anybody that's taken a shot of, of tequila can tell you what goes on in your gut happens in your brain. Um, take care of the gut, heal the gut. Um, that's the primary thing. A lot of therapy. We've got a hyperbaric oxygen chamber in our house from, from OxyHealth. Uh, we've got, I mean, we've got so many things that we've tried and every little bit, he gets a little bit better. And our son's now uh, straight A's in school uh, in fourth grade. He does have an aide that helps him out because he's socially not real with it, but he's a smart little guy and he's healthy. No thanks 
to the industrial medical complex that caused this. Thanks to doctors like Dr. Wakefield and Dr. Tenpenny out there and all the caring physicians and the moms and dads that we network with because we're the ones healing our children, not the doctors. That's right. And they, and they hate that. The witch doctors want to control everything, but some of them do have souls. And as you said, are waking up. What was the process like for your doctor that, that was part of this for when he finally woke up? Well, it was a she, and I wanted to throttle her. Once I found out, once I figured this all out, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm a red-blooded American guy, and I just wanted to go in there and, and do my thing. But uh, my wife said, no, I'm going to talk to her. And now she's, a, she's an ally of ours, and uh, she's learned what it did. And she, she uh, still vaccinates kids that ask, but she doesn't pressure them anymore. And she doesn't vaccinate her own kids as far as I know, and I'm pretty sure of that. And uh, she's, she's gone to the Autism One uh, clinician seminars and uh, has learned what's going on and how to treat these kids. And now she, a lot of her clientele is kids with autism that uh, she's taking care of because my wife decided, I'm, I'm gonna talk to this doctor and try to change her mind, and she did. That's right. Again, resistance is victory. You've got to reach out. You've got to show them the facts. I mean, we've got all the documents where they admit they're adding stuff to them. I mean, I'm not even seeing the science of vaccines might not be, you know, valuable if it was some super deadly plague or whatever. And it was, a, you know, guaranteed death one way, you know, the danger the other, then I'd roll the dice. But just big companies want to push all this garbage on you, have liability protection. It's crazy. Uh, give us some of the websites uh, that uh, you've put together with some of your research for folks that want to learn more. Well, uh, my website is viralsepidemic.com. Uh, virals is an acronym for uh, vaccine-induced regressive autistic-like symptoms. So viralsepidemic.com, I've got uh, some of my articles on here, although many of my articles are now going to uh, InfoWars. But uh, uh, then 14studies.com is a great website to uh, take a look at their research and take a look at our research and put two and two together and just think for yourself. A great, a great website for doctors and then parents as well. Um, AutismOne.org is, is a great website. Uh, my wife happens to work for the magazine AutismFile.com, and uh, they have a lot of, uh, a lot of great articles on uh, treating your child uh, biomedically. Um, those, are, those are the big ones that I can think of. All right, well listen, great job. And again, even though this was painful for you and your wife and your son, again, by them doing this to you, now you are reaching, as you know, the, the work you do, hundreds of thousands, millions of people, and the tide is turning. And so it, it's, it's, it's important that we warn others uh, before uh, this same fate or something even worse. As you know, a lot of kids actually die uh, yeah. from these. Kurt, God bless you. Thank you, Alex. All right, amazing. Well, that's it for this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. I want to, before I do today's quote, I want to warn everybody out there, this isn't a game. I don't just get up here and cover stuff half-cocked. We, we've done our research. We know what we're talking about. And this is all done on purpose. Uh, and, and, and the people that are low-level compartmentalized, the bureaucrats, the big pharma salespeople, the doctors, they're in a cult. They're brainwashed. And it's up to us to reach out to them and educate them. Now, this is a war, and it's a war for the truth. The globalists fight us with lies, but we've got to get the truth out to everybody. Please, those of you that subscribe to PrisonPlanet.tv, who see this first and, and, and have the archives and the rest, you are financing and supporting this message so we can warn people on YouTube and all the other video channels, millions a week we reach with this nightly news. And that's why I'm doing this. A lot of days after doing the radio show and interviews and, and running this big office, I'm exhausted and don't want to do the show. But I always just think about the fact that people are getting hurt here. And I take my job very, very serious. And so I, that's all, how I always have the energy. But we couldn't do it without you supporting us. So I want to thank all the PrisonPlanet.tv members. If you're watching this out there in Internet land and want to see our operation grow and continue, you can try the 15-day free trial right now at InfoWarsNews.com or PrisonPlanet.tv. Uh, here's today's uh, quote from Albert Einstein. The ruling class has the schools and the press under its thumb. This enables it to sway the emotions of the masses. Very simple, but true from Albert Einstein. Okay, great job to the crew and great job to our guest. That's it for this edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Lord willing, I'll see you back on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, wherever you're listening in the world. You can always uh, tune in via InfoWars.com and back here on the Nightly News. God bless you all.